Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Julian Ness, and today I'm joined with my good friend Bob Forrest. Welcome like to the channel. Like a father to you, I am. Welcome to the channel. Uh, we're super stoked to have you. Um, you know, one of the things, uh, especially today, that's become a real problem is like drug, drug addiction. You have so many young kids getting hooked on prescription pills from a lot of the times their parents are medicine before cabinet. Before they're 20 or, years old. Right. Before, a lot of the times before there's even a habit there. Right. Yeah. Just well, that's, first that's time. Or, um, so like one of the things I wanted to talk about is like for parents out there who are, you know, just don't really have a lot of experience in this and don't really know what to do like what like what are some things that like you know a mom or a father could do when they've you know initially realized that my child might I have deal a serious, with it all the time problem. I deal with it all the time and the, and the fact is you know the addiction treatment model has changed because the population has changed so when you have a 20-year-old kid who's, who's basically been doing heroin since they were 14 from Oxycontin and Big Pharma's mm -hmm. death across and destruction, they're really late-stage drug addicts wrapped up in a 20-year-old's right. body right. that doesn't have any intention of, of stopping. Mm -hmm. They feel mm -hmm. bulletproof. They mm -hmm. feel like, fuck these people. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to listen to these mm -hmm. people. But yet they're... they're their use is so dangerous and deadly, so mm -hmm. the parents are thinking they're going to die, i got to get mm -hmm. them into treatment. There, sh there should just be a, a deep pause and take a deep breath and say, you know, we need to sit down with our kid and we need to really talk about what's mm -hmm. going on, rather than this panic assuming that the right. treatment center can fix them. Mm -hmm. Treatment centers can't fix your kids. Mm -hmm. That's what parents need to understand. You, in coalition with a team of people, can help give your kid the best chance mm -hmm. at survival. And really it is, at this point, survival. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that's kind of what's not happening because of the way the industry is, just heads on beds and get people in. And at the National Assessment Foundation, we're going to try to, as best we can, kind of counsel, kind of give direction. Um, it's very labor intensive and it's very hard and parents don't want to listen. So I'm telling you right now, if your kid's 20 <clears> years old and you find out he's doing heroin, take a deep breath, don't overreact. Sit down with him. Call some friends that you know that are sober. Call some treatment professionals and say, you know, where, how can we best help him or her get on the right track in life? And when you panic and you're scared they're going to die and you just pay the most amount of money or you run around, that's what the treatment industry loves. Mm -hmm. They love when you call at 2 o'clock in the morning and you think your kid's going to die. They'll help you mortgage your house. So be cautious, get, get educated, take a deep breath. Awesome, thank you so much. There you go, Matt. Good I'm to have you. Kid. I'm every Bob, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll have something new for you coming up. Stay tuned. Cool.